Hello everybody! Some time ago, a friend of mine became the owner of an Sonic SD-1 synthesizer, which was out of use since some of the keys were not functioning and no operational system installed. Later on, the instrument was repaired and we only had to find the operating system disk, which we failed to do because the instrument was rather old. So we did some search on the internet and eventually created that disk successfully. So I want to share my experience on how you can create this kind of disk. Here's what you need. A computer with a floppy disk drive, 3.5 inch, not a USB powered drive. An empty floppy disk, 3.5 inch. It's gonna be a number one disk. If its size is 1.44 megabytes, then you need to cover the second aperture with a piece of a duct tape. It's this diskette that will be the start-up diskette to boot your system for your Ensonic SD-1. Then we need an empty diskette 1.45 MB to boot your MS-DOS system. It's a number 2 disk. Then you'll need to download the files linked in the description to your computer. Unzip those into one folder and then copy all of them to our number 2 disk. The next step is to enter BIOS and set Boot from a floppy disk option. Save and reboot. The system boots and creates a virtual disk Z where it will have all the contents of our disk number 2. As soon as Z colon slash appears, you can remove your disk number 2 out of the drive. In case your computer is fast enough, you won't be able to run the EDE.x distributive, so first you run a so-called slower patch CRT file that will allow us to launch the EDE.x on faster computers. Then you are required to specify the program's full name, so we indicate EDE.x and patch our file. We are prompted to do a backup for our file and we agree to what's prompted. In the command line you insert EDE.x, the program is launched, press any key, SD-1 OS 410 is your operational system image set as number 1. Press Enter. The floppy drive rattles. Insert disk number 1 and press Enter. The recording starts and in some time the copy completed message comes up. The drive rattles again. Press Escape and the noise disappears. To check the contents of your diskette, press Escape several times to get into MS-DOS interface. Specify EDM.x in the command line. The program runs. Select the list diskette files on the main page and press 1 or F1 key. If the diskette has been recorded correctly, you'll see its contents. That's it! The disk has been created, inserted in the Insonic SD-1 drive, search for the OS and deploy it to your synth. That's all! Congratulations on making the OS disk and birthing new life into Insonic SD-1! If you liked this video, please share it and click thumbs up! Thanks for watching and see you soon!